Bluetooth headphones really suck in 2025. Take the new high-end Sony XM6, a very nicely designed pair of headphones, comfortable, lightweight, fantastic ANC, battery life, but it is fundamentally limited by its reliance on Bluetooth wireless technology. And the problem here specifically is Bluetooth's limited bandwidth. We're talking one, maybe two megabits per second. And once you hit this limit, Bluetooth automatically compresses your audio for a quote unquote, better listening experience. So ultimately what this means is even though Bluetooth is theoretically capable of 16 bit 44 kilohertz audio, which by the way is not lossless, even that is rarely actually achieved. And this issue is extremely apparent if you've ever used your microphone on a Bluetooth pair of headphones, say during a call or a game chat. This is because having two-way audio quickly and immediately hits that bandwidth limit. And that's why both the quality of the incoming audio and your outgoing voice is always extremely terrible on Bluetooth with no exceptions. This weak connection also affects other things like the wireless range and latency. And this is the core reason why serious gamers and true audiophiles never use Bluetooth headphones. Bluetooth is just fundamentally a flawed wireless system, and it makes otherwise fantastic headphones like the Sony XM6 not very good. Now, the solution here is very simple. It's to simply use Wi-Fi. This is already what gamers and audiophiles use when they need a wireless option, because we're all familiar that Wi-Fi has much better bandwidth. We're talking hundreds, if not thousands of megabits per second with much enhanced range and lower latency. So headphones using Wi-Fi have true lossless 24-bit 96 kilohertz audio with flawless two-way high quality communication because the bandwidth can easily handle it. And products using Wi-Fi as a wireless connection are not rare. Both my wireless keyboard and mouse have both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built directly into them. But when it comes to headphones, the only reason this hasn't become mainstream and the standard is because these Wi-Fi connections require this little USB dongle in order to make them work. But soon, this may no longer be the case, and Wi-Fi for audio may be built directly into most devices in the same way that Bluetooth currently is. On this front, Snapdragon introduced Snapdragon Sound, which integrates Wi-Fi into its wireless audio system, and it can seamlessly switch between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth depending on the circumstances. Now, just like with Bluetooth, this feature requires both ends, so your computer and your headphones, to be certified with Snapdragon Sound, but this is becoming the standard on all of Snapdragon's latest chips. So as this becomes more widespread and people have this ability baked into their phones, we're gonna see more and more headphones also offer this certification, making it very probable that when new popular headphones like the Sony MX7 come out, they're probably gonna feature both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. And just like with my mouse and keyboard, I am super excited to see Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work together on all of my wireless devices because it is simply a better solution. Now, if you don't wanna wait and you're okay with the dongle, I'll go ahead and leave a few links below the video to both headphones and earbuds that feature Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity right now. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.